He got his own shark back. Playing Vladimir mid in season 12. So like usual guys if you enjoy make sure to smash the like comment subscribe Those are the runes we took predator taste of blood eyeball collection ravenous hunter gathering storm transcendence Those are the rune stats there and in this lane. We're playing against Yasuo a pretty medium difficulty matchup Vladimir is hard s tier right now really solid champion uh, We could have taken predator electrocute or phase rush Electrocute, I like to take in lanes like Fizz, Talon, people who just want to fall on, full on out fight you, and which you could burst them back. Predator's really good for the mid game, and just being able to. Yeah. Just being able to play that assassin y playstyle with boots, always going in, getting that guaranteed engage to one shot them. And Vladimir. Ever since the new item changes is really good. Cosmic is good. Demonic Embrace is insane. And you just scale like a beast now into the game. He says the Oslo lane. Every time he goes for a minion, we just hit him with Q. We're just looking to out-sustain him. That's the goal here. Protobelts being that insane power spike. You could do a Rabidon's Death Cap second item or Cosmic Drive. Rabidon's being more on the standard side of things gets you that burst damn he had his passive shield but yeah it's okay if we take a little damage from the minions we have a lot of sustain with our Q yeah just go just go to Krugs it's cool I already queued? Oh my god, Riot Games, I swear. Actual brain dead company, it canceled. I'm just gonna queue him. Start slow pushing. Harassing. And he has his passive shield. So I'm not really looking to look for the all in. Hey, all right, we're just on the money. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. And yeah, against these pesky melees, that's what you do. Every time they go for a minion, hit him with a Q. Be as annoying as possible. Hmm. Not gonna lie, back probably like this is best. Other than this, we could go uh Dark Seal. Dark Seal over Amp Tomb, but I think it's fine. Gives us five more AP, but as we all know, Dark Seal's passive is kind of giga broken. It's really gold efficient if you're able to get ahead. All right, I'm just going to get crashed in. Or Vladimir, where his counterplay lies is his wave clear. Going to E. Oh, man. I didn't E long enough for the slow. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, slow pushing, queuing. Taking a nice and slow lane since you out sustain 90% of laners. We're just trying to be as annoying as possible. There's his bone plating. It's okay. Oh, there's his bone plating, but yeah. Gonna cue the wave, try to hit level 6, and then all in him. Yep. 
As soon as my cooldowns come back up, we're going to try to all in him under tower. Predator's OP. And just like that, I should have maybe passed closer away from the tower. If I had to make a change there, but... Yes. Good stuff. We made the play. Nocturne's not level 6, so I'm not expecting to just get ulted and die. Good stuff. This is ideal. I think this is really awkward. I have no clue why they did this change. Like, it's so bad. It should always be two amps built into Hextech Revolver for the extra damage. Which makes me believe, especially if you're playing someone like Fizz or Echo, you're just going to get Blasting Wand, two Amp Tombs, and then after that build it into Proto. I think the HP kind of holds you back from your true burst in one shot. Because you're looking to have damage, not really be more on the tankier side of things as these Assassins. But Vladimir, I feel like can go Hextech Alternator. Since HP kind of... Synergizes well with his kit. It makes him a little bit chunky. Alright, we got the cannon. And we do have predator boots. In a Q. It's okay if we tank the tower shot. It is all good. Nocturne's top lane. Damn, didn't hit him. Every time he looks for a minion, hit him with a Q. Trying to get bone plating off? So I can do that. And because bone plating is the only thing that holds us back from all inning Yasuo. If we were to go under tower, we would use our W. Try to take a tower plating here. Why do you like being so annoying, Nocturne? Do you actually enjoy it? You're gonna get reported. Honestly. Ah, chem tank. So broken. Jesus. <laughs> they need to nerf it. Uh, I'll just go uh, blasting on. I don't like Hextech Alternator, especially when Yasuo has bone plating. So when I'm able to cue him with the ant. Uh, Hexic Alternator. Am I recording? I am. When I'm able to queue him with Hextech Alternator, it won't be dealing as much damage because of bone plating. So I think Blasting Wand will probably be best. Your true form is post first item. That's when Vladimir Vladimir becomes insane. Or starts to become insane. Where he really shines is of course late game. Three items plus with your sustained CDR, you're just you're unbeatable. Unlucky. I'm so sad I didn't Predator. Holy shit, that was so close. I'm so sad I didn't Predator because they engaged on me that quickly. I got nervous. I don't have enough for anything besides... Acts like Alternator. I'm going to clear this wave then look to back. Should be a pretty safe move. And Nocturne's not alive to... Ult me, so we're chilling. Alright, good stuff, good stuff. Now we're getting a little bit chunky with our HP. When we get Demonic Embrace, we convert that into AP. 2%. You know what AP? F oh, it's so good. And it synergizes with your passive. Amazing.
Rengar. I don't want to play for the freeze. It's too suboptimal. I'm ahead. I think I win this. Literally keep camping me. Scrub. I don't know who you're playing against. You're playing against Vladimir if you didn't notice. <laughs> Leave me alone. Thanks. Bye. I actually appreciate that. You showed that you wanted to come mid. I don't think any gank succeeded, especially early on, but you showed that you were hovering to make sure I didn't get ganked. This is all because of you, Vi. Good job. But there is shutdown bounty. Shutdown bounty and then objective bounty. That's what we got to be careful of. Gonna go cosmic now. Gonna go Cosmic Drive. Because I don't think we have enough HP to synergize with Demonic Demonic Embrace yet. Is he gonna come mid again? I just need my ult. If I have my ult, I can 1v2. And then in the mid game, that's when we look to use Predator and just roam 24-7. Whoever's in the side lane, we just destroy. All right, we're going to fake out, walk back and forth to make him confused on whether we're trying to farm or look to queue him. And of course, if we're trying to, if we're trying to prioritize queuing minions, it's going to be... Yasuo over It's gonna be Yasuo over the minions Obviously since the more aggressive you're able to be the better position you put yourself in It's trading over farming and Now I don't want to kill Yasuo anymore since he's not worth as much gold and we just want to roam bot with predator That's the pro of playing Vladimir, though. You can make tower dives where they can't do anything about it if you're ahead enough. This should be first tower? First tower. Pretty massive. We have Predator in four seconds, so we could look bot side here. Gonna get the sussy Bacchus. Let's go. Predator in. Coming in with heat and speed. Oh god. Almost died did there. Thought I was gonna be able to heal. You guys got that? Give me that assist. Oh, nice triumph. Oh, man, it's so doomed. Thought I was going to be able to heal for my ult and Q and then finish him off. Mm. <sighs> Unfortunate. And I can't get Cosmic Drive here. The lower the CDR you have, the more you're able to spam your Q, which is pretty massive. Since that's your source of healing and damage. Should I wait? I should. Because Cosmic Drive is so good. He's got rework. Dealing and damage with three separate attacks are a bit. Alright.
Grunt 20% movement speed, decaying by 10%, 40% ability power until exiting combat. Basically what this means is you get extra movement speed and AP when you're able to get into these middle of these fights. You're going to get Cosmic Drive, which gives you a lot of ability haste, which will let you spam your Q. It's really good. Gives you HP, which, and then you buy Demonic Embrace. Gives you some extra juiced stats there. It's pretty massive. We don't want to play for mid. Honestly, we could shove in mid and then look to roam. Look to crash it under tower. So that way y'all soul can't react. It has to be mid farming. And then we'll look for the roam. I don't think Nocturne has ults. So it should be pretty free. Predator. I'm not in range yet. Till now. Damn this Nocturne. Ah, I got outplayed. Oh, was it Flash or Gale Force? I think it was Gale Force. A Hilo Gale Force to my ulti. That is so tragic. Is Nocturne nuts? Oh, that's so bad. Oopsie Daisy. Oh, nice Gale Force Twitch. Yeah. It was a good it was a good roam. Don't get me wrong. Because it just makes sense. You crash and then roam after you take mid tower. There's no point in being mid. But it just unfortunate circumstances. We would have won 3v3 if their jungler was there. That's the thing. But everyone was in at the same area, so it was kind of awkward. And then I got bursted. But I did get their most important target. It it just happens, you know. It just happens. And maybe I could have just focused Nocturne as I was roaming. I thought I was going to be able to get a double, which would be more worth. All right, let's try to Predator in here. Should be a guaranteed engage. We have Proto. Predator. Damn. Unlucky. Yeah, absolutely massive. When you get cosmic drive, so much CDR, AP and health, you scale like a beast. They got an objective bounty, that sucks. We could just farm these camps like nothing since we have so much sustain. Let's farm it. Sustain back up. Maybe take a mid turret if possible. Gonna proto there to get into range of my empowered Q. Should be able to get tower here. Yeah. I'm putting myself in a pretty vulnerable spot, not gonna lie. Because Nocturne could have ulted me when I W'd. Honestly, yeah. If I, if I had ult, I could 1v2 that, but I didn't have ult. It was up in 3. So I have to be a little bit more careful. I'm going to try to look for it. Not in range. Creep block, creep block. Unlucky. Oof, I was at their base. It's all good. Mm, yeah, because we're drawing so much pressure away from bots, so we're able to get bot tower. And I didn't have shutdown gold, so it's not that bad. I have to make y'all so hit a zero ten power spike, am I right? Like, no one's here, you see that? Should be free. Yeah, Hilo isn't broken up until like three items. We're good. Literally four people mid. Now we're on our way to get Demonic Embrace. Oh yeah, they can't fight that. Rengar and Pike. Hmm. 
Those are their fed members. Now, they're, oh, they're doing a four-man dive. This is huge. Huge. Oh, no. This is bad. Mordekaiser has ult. Oh, he actually got the kill under tower. That's good. Okay. I thought it would go worse than intended. But I want to see my demonic embrace stats. It's going to be pretty massive. Gonna try to predator. This is the mid game I'm talking about when you take predator. You're able to just roam around and look for one shots when you're this far ahead. And it doesn't even have to be through kills, but through scaling. Got one. That's so much burst. You see that? And it's kind of uncounterable. If you're able to get ahead of what predator, it's uncounterable. Like there's no counterplay to that. You just go in in one shot. Oh man, I wish it was uh, Chem Tank Soul. Then it would just be GG. There's Demonic Embrace. 32 extra AP granted. And you could go Rabadon's Death Cap third or second. But now we're going to go it. So that way we get extra AP and then that synergizes with Demonic Embrace. It's basically, Vladimir just ends up getting too much HP and AP. Which makes Vladimir both tanky and an assassin-like damage dealing. So yeah, we have Predator up in three. We can be looking bots. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I'm just going to look to split push at this point. Oh, we actually got him. Nice. We have a lot of tick damage from Demonic. 1% max HP it deals, it says. Fed Vladimir at his finest. Too massive. Such a powerhouse. And on top of your AP and HP, guess what? You have your pool, which makes you hard to kill. <laughs> yeah, nice kite back. Oh, I got shut down. If I had my ult, I swear, that would be a penta. I just got, yeah, I got three kills. That would have been a penta. <laughs> if I had my ult. That would have been so massive. But it's all good. We could even go Shadow Flame. No, we, we wouldn't want to. There's Yasuo, who's 0-10, yes. But, like, a Hilo could have went Immortal Shield Bow. In which, that would have been pretty ideal. Shadow Flame. But people are saying it gets outpaced or outmatched by Void Staff and Rabadon's Death Cap. So, I think we'll just look for that. They say it's like an underwhelming item. You rather just go... Void Staff or Death Cap because it gives you more burst over the Shadow Flame item. Everything speculation, of course, but in a couple of weeks, we'll see. We'll see what's meta and not. And then also, like in a month or so, they're going to do major changes to whatever changes they did do now. Nerfs and buffs. So that's why League of Legends is fun. It never gets old. Always a changing game. Fun, jolly. Holy. I'm a bit of a problem, huh? It's late game Vladimir. And we have Mountain Soul. Man, that's massive. Oh, a render just finished. Nice. Another upload. I don't have ulti, which makes me not really want to fight this. Bastard. Can't believe he's doing this to me. 
Let me cue this. Let me cue it. <laughs> Let me cue something, please. It's gonna give me my last stack for my uh for my Q passive and on top of that. Got two. I want the team the team fight off that. Good stuff. Because I think I hit a five man ulti there. And I think, yeah. It was worth. It was a good move. Could have maybe waited for my ult cooldown to come up, but I mean it's a good play. A five man ulti with this much AP, it's just it's too good. I had to go for it. 177 extra AP there. I wonder if they could stop us from... I think they can. They could stop us from ending. Yeah. They're just going to farm it back up. And then last item, Zonia's is good because they just want to burst me. But I think I have a lot of HP to where I don't have to worry about it as much. So I'll just go Void Staff. Maybe even Shadow Flame. I don't know. Nice one, team. I'm guessing they're going to be over here. Oh. Damn, damn, damn. I couldn't go over the wall! Ah, oh, that would have been so massive. And just like that, they forfeit. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out. That's why Vladimir is S tier this season. Yo, guys, join the Discord community also. Follow my socials, description below.